Good day. Uh, so at, after my last session, um, it bugged me that I couldn't get the model and the decode flags functions to be private in a JavaScript build of my Gleam um, app. So um, I've just had a little play um, to see if I could fix that. And I think I have. So I thought I'd just add a quick little video before my next proper session um, to show what I've done. So what I've now got is I've gone back to using an internal data uh, module. Um, yeah, I think I tried having core before, but I've called it data this time. So that I can now pass in or rather use a data model. Um, and a data uh, decode flags function. So if I look at that, um, all we've got here in internal data is the model and the decode flags. This is obviously very early stages. All it's doing is taking in an integer to the decode flags and returning the model with an integer count on it. Um, and then in the UI tests, I've removed everything because I don't have anything that I can test at the moment. Um, so this is back to its default effectively, just doing a quick test that makes sure that tests work. Um, and then in the here, we have a data test. So this is gonna be where I'll do most of my tests for anything doing, anything missing about with the model. Um, so here we've got a decode flags test at the moment. All it does is go, hey, decode zero, and we should get um, a zero back count, a model with a count of zero back. So let's just quickly fix, let's see if I can actually um, test a little bit more on that. Uh, let's do, well, let's sort of mirror what we have on the front end, and I'll show that in a minute. Let's say if we do five, um, if I save that now, this should fail because it's expecting a count with zero. So yeah, so now the test failed. It was expecting um, zero, but got back model five. Uh, I do expect five. So there we go, it's now working. So I'll keep that. That's quite handy because I'll probably do a couple of different variations of passing in um, a, jar, a JSON object, actually. Um, so that's that. I don't think there's anything else we really need to show here. I think it's all pretty straightforward. I just had to change everything to use data.model everywhere. Um, so if I look at data, dot, you can see there, we just moved everything to data.model. Um, and then obviously we've got the data uh, decode flags. So if I then, um, let's see if we come out, Ooh, what's happened? I've lost focus there, there we go. Uh, if I, well, it's not happy at all. Huh, okay. I will fix that in a second. Let's just do a quick build. Uh, we will do uh, make zip uh, and then have a quick look at the output. We should now in source JS UI at the bottom where we do the exports, we just have main now, which before we had exports of the model and the decode flags, and I wasn't really happy with that. So I'll fix that now. Um, and if I now load that that's just yep 1513 install and now it still works still starting at five because we're passing that in on the uh, the main.js it's working which is good uh, so that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Quick addendum, basically. Um, making sure so that I can start from actually fixing up the model, 
um, and then start putting stuff into the uh, UI for the real in the view uh, in the next few sessions. So uh, thanks for watching uh, and until next time, take care. Bye.